<laughs> Jules, you're going crazy. <laughs> you form the gut. Uh, not bad. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. Uh oh. Welcome to the Josh and Adam show. This time we're playing Final Fantasy. And welcome back. Thank you for watching. Welcome back, everybody. This is the Josh and Adam show. We are still playing some Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, yeah. Just finished the Coliseum. We fought a house. We fought the house, yeah, and won. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, a little bit uh, uh, of stuff we did off camera. I did get... Um, we, we did fight a couple more Coliseum battles, which were unlocked. And they gave us the level two limit breaks of both Cloud and Aerith. We did not fight other houses, though. They weren't houses. They were just very easy, you know, little five-round fights. Yeah. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around, comes around. And in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw dropper. I hope so after all that. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get Let's started. do it. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. <laughs> you look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. No, I fought a house. <laughs> we're, still, we're still pretty hung up on that. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Walmart? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's okay, it looks like some Aerith side quest mop-up time. Oh Yo. Boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is going to take some work. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. All right. Bam, bam, bam. So we've got a couple of uh, little side jobs to do. The price of thievery. Are we about to steal something, or are we teaching a lesson to someone who did steal something? Well, I don't know. Cloud's kind of open to whatever. All right. I think we're going to do some training at the gym first. These people look interesting. Yeah, so there's a little mini game in here, and I remember getting the high score on it, but it took me a long time, a lot of tries. Hmm. It's not easy. It's like a little timing mini game. We'll see how I do. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So let's check this out. Burning thighs. Let's challenge Ronnie. Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichore left out the sun. Got no idea. <laughs> you look like a dried up old terpsichore. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. No. Let's all see what you've got. Okay. No way I'm letting you win. <laughs> so the basic rules, we're doing squats. <laughs> so you got to perform more than your opponent. As you proceed, the gun will gradually fade from view and you'll have to watch Cloud's movements to determine when to press the buttons. Okay, I see. And then pace increases. Okay. All right, let's do it. I had to review the. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. 
Oh. Not bad at all. Seriously, two, Ronnie? Feel the base. Ronnie, you're freaking terrible. <laughs> what? Ronnie might as well just be a newborn fawn. <laughs> it gets harder, I think, progressively. Oh, oh. Don't worry, I think you're fine. That was pretty good still. <laughs> yeah, so the, the guide goes away, and you have to kind of imagine what it would be by looking at his movements. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. <laughs> Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. Sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud, we're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. Thanks, Jules. <laughs> Our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god, yeah! I'm impressed! I know that. Okay, this is the second guy. You wanna go, do ya? Alright then, bring it on! Let's see how you squat, mister. Oh. Oh. I missed it already. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not bad at all. Your forms will come up. I know you've got more to get. What was that? So you can get stuck if he gets tired on this difficulty. Oh yeah. Oh damn. Ooh. Yeah, it got stuck there. So got a few up on him. I knew you could do it. Hit. Oh, you good. Oh no. He got it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't recover. So that was a little bit, a little bit harder, a little bit harder. You did it. You really beat me. You gotta be in incredible shape. It's unfair. That what do you say? May I have this? Yeah, but who's going to cheer me on while I'm doing it? <laughs> you will, Adam. You got to cheer me on. <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Good form. Great job. Hey there. He already fell. Getting it. <laughs> How much training do you do? Yeah. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. I can't get enough of the You are in Oh yeah. Killing it. <laughs> nice. nice. That, was, that was almost perfect. Yeah, so uh, I think later in the game we come back here and there's like maybe pull up a pull up competition as well. It's a little bit different. Hmm. So there's no some more mini games here, but really yeah, and this uh, accessory that he gives us, the a champion belt, is really good. So oh cool. Oh, we got a trophy too. The Sultan of Squat. So I'll show you what it does here. So the the power risk guards give me five percent extra strength. This gives you ten percent hey. HP and five percent strength. Nice. So very cool. Oh, I wish he wore it. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like the belt he has on already, to be honest. Hey. Murray. It's Murray. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations bound for the Leaf House. The fiends. What? The That's for the children. <laughs> none other than the notorious Angel of the Slums. People worship her as some kind of folk hero, but there's no denying she's the one that done it. I don't think so. Look at this calling card. The Garden Angle Free? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. <laughs> Oh, come on, Garden Angle. <laughs> Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the angel. Yeah, I don't think so. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring them here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved Guardian Angel. Uh, I think you mean Garden Angle. <laughs> I've got to find those thieves to clear the angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them mm, to How do you know all that? All right. Toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. <laughs> the garden angel strikes again! <laughs> <laughs> and all it took was one fake car. Too easy. <laughs> 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 I guess they took off their invisibility cloak. <laughs> Bring it. We're ready for you this time. Wakey, wakey, time to shine. <laughs> Check out this brick shit house. We picked him up at the Coliseum. Gonna pay you back double, nah, quadruple for what you've done to us. What's a drupal? That's a drupal. What are we doing? Uh, shut up! We're kicking Blondie's ass for mm -hmm. being an ass! <laughs> oh. oh. The grungy bandit. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh. -oh. Flying knee. Oh. oh. Gotta be careful. Whip, whip, whip. Now we just got the grungy bandit. Nice. Oh. 
staggered. All right. <laughs> Your shin guards won't save you now, buddy. Hey, I like this guy. He's wearing a mask. You know, he's trying to be safe. Right. You know, you, you, you wear a mask for other people's protection. He was looking out for other people. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's not selfish. What a weird concept. Oh, man, you're real stupid. We're the garden angels. Get it right. <laughs> Shut your trap, moron. Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah, I recognize the mask. These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should have listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square. Once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox. Yeah, you lummox, you lump nuts. So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better even. It's the angel of the slums. She took the tongue stuff. He's going to be pissed. <laughs> well, hmm? I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. There's no sweat. Guardian angel of the slums. Radiant defender of the downtrodden? Huh. I wonder if I'm an accomplice. <laughs> <laughs> Should probably get back to Madam Inn. Were there I thought there were other side quests. I mean there's like at least one one more. Oh. Okay. The one with the question. It just popped up. The world of tomorrow. Why, hey there, champ. Got word from Madame M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. So, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? I've been trying to get this gold chain off my neck for a long time. <laughs> Their favorite champ going other Can you just smash it for me? <laughs> something tells me they're not going to rest until they see you kick ass again. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP. Hmm. <laughs> okay. This challenger wanted another fight at the <laughs> sand. One of Sam's favorite machines of mayhem, hmm. Cuddy. Mm, Cuddy. He's been sharpening his blades and dreaming of payback. Can our champ come out on top again? Fighters. I don't know, dude. This one's got flame decals. <laughs> so he must go faster. Jury rigged cutter. What? All right. Trying to see if he'll attack. Oh. Ooh, got me. He's slashing. Oh. Do I have, yeah, I have lightning on. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, you got me. Get ready. Oh, block. Oh. <laughs> that does so much damage. Damn. Yeah, I think it does bonus. Oh, wow, it knocked it. Dang, pieces yeah. of them all the way over there. <laughs> yeah, I think it does bonus damage on staggered enemies. Oh, nice. Yeah, so 6K, that's quite a lot. Yeah. An arcane scepter. That's a weapon for Aerith. Working on her hair right now. I thought I'd take the opportunity to drop by and watch her match. 
<laughs> I have to admit, I never get tired of seeing Sam's precious toys take a beating. <sighs> All right. I can tell by your hands you've come a long way. Got a hands of a fighter. Let's She's fight. really into hands. Yeah, all right. A woman or two? I wonder. Just doing what I've always done. <laughs> anyway, Aerith should be finishing up soon. I'll go on ahead to check on you. Whenever you're ready, come back to the parlor. But don't walk faster than me. <laughs> Hey, what y'all doing in here? <laughs> Cloud, finally. Tifa, she, I, Tifa, she, she's, I don't. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon, and Tifa's, Tifa's gonna be. I just, I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too. Hey, Cloud. Bro, I can call you bro, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said He's got quite a run. <laughs> he can run. Is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Wasn't the plan to get Aerith sneak in here with Aerith? I thought so. They're just going to turn me away again. Yeah. You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> By the way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Hmm? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. Yeah, I thought that that was the plan already. Why, why are we doing this? I don't know. That was what we were doing. Are you kidding? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't that know. made no sense. <laughs> I don't know why we had to come all the way over here. We didn't here. need to see Johnny. We didn't need to follow him over here. It Okay, it looks like we just triggered another cutscene. Had to get us over here somehow, I guess, for this. Oh, that's Aerith. It. Move it, move it. Come on. I think she wears a different dress depending on how much money you spend on the hand massage. I think that's what determines it. Hmm. So we, we went all out and got the fancy dress. She's like, where did he get that red carpet? <laughs> he just carries it around. Hey, yeah. Uh... That's really. Yeah. Corneo's got certain tastes. I bet he does. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud. Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. 
Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? We're gonna get we're gonna get Cloud in there too. Not just Aerith. He rolled out that carpet and you only walked over like half of it. <laughs> just stood on it for a little while, you know. <laughs> I guess they're just going to leave it on the bridge now. Yeah. So we're going to find a way to get Cloud in there as well. <laughs> I like that man in love, woman in love. I don't know about after that. It's, it's funny, like, she's going at a set speed, so if I get close to her, it slows me down, and when she gets far enough away, I can move normal speed again. <laughs> but I can't, I can't really go past her. To see the honeybee in Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in the dress. What? <laughs> it's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Let's do it. Sure. I have no clue what this plan is <clears throat> at this point. Good evening. It has gone off the rails. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see. We're gonna dress Cloud up like a woman. <laughs> you must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you, Mr. Cloud. I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please make your way to the stage in the back. So most of this is in the original game. In the back, sir. There's the a door there's a little back. side quest that you get where you have to gather some different uh, like items of a disguise, mm -hmm. and depending on how well you do in all of the little side quests, depends on what outfit Cloud gets. Hmm. <laughs> We're just interrupting. <laughs> or no, maybe it's uh, like Cloud's outfit determines which of the three of you that Corneo picks. So he'll pick one of you to take back into his room. Hmm. And if you have all the best stuff on Cloud, he'll pick Cloud. What are you? Hey, We've been waiting for you. Come on in. Have a seat. No, I'm not here for... Huh? Oh, wait a minute. I think you might have wandered into the wrong room by mistake. I suppose we did. <laughs> some of these are kind of funny. I thought, yeah, like some of them you can peek through the keyhole. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. As he waves his arms over him. <laughs> He's like, yep, and that's acupuncture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So this this guy is one of uh, the presidents of Shinra's goons. Palmer. You, you In the original, you can see him in here. And, you know, they remade that, of course. He's a, I think he's a boss fight. In the original game, he's a boss fight at some point. The man of the hmm. hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. So we have to prove ourselves to Andrea. First? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here, come on now. Hey, hold on. <laughs> okay. So press the buttons in time to the music using the rhythm line as a guide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Cloud's learning to dance. Yep. Some good old toe tapping going on. <laughs> it's a JRPG, dude. Just don't don't think about it too much. <laughs> Just go with it. Sword dancing. <laughs> You've got real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. We're done with practice. My, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> He's be like, I have no idea. <laughs> what is happening? You? No, you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's flushing. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam, does this bring you back to your, your high school performing days? Oh, well, sadly, yeah. <laughs> Can't say I did this though. <laughs> it's a little, a little different than this kind of stuff. This reminds me of like a, you know, like a, a musical review number. You know? Oh yeah, I like, actually never did those. Oh okay. Mostly because I despised our director. <laughs> He's yeah. a terrible person. Yeah. Damn, they got augmented reality going on in oh, here. Oh yeah. I guess to say holograms, actually. You seek my approval. I understand. I do not. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. This is so silly. <laughs> that guy's going to town on that saxophone. Yeah, right. on that one. I'm sure are a lot of dance moves in between you pressing buttons. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was too early. Kind of showed him stumble a little bit. I wonder if that was because I missed the button press. 
Possibly. It's interesting. I wonder if they animated all kinds of different uh, moves and poses for this cutscene, depending on if you get it right or not. He like totally messing up. He's like over the corner doing the macarena. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Here. I don't know. <laughs> too early again like how do you know how to do all these moves <laughs> he's a natural yeah I've, I haven't got the exact timing on a lot of these I don't think it'll matter It's not bad. No bads, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. <laughs> now, without further ado, let us begin. Okay, this is happening out in the open with everybody. Yeah. They're going to make a show of it. They're going to get their stylist to transform this gritty ex-soldier into a girl, lovely little girl. You better work it. <laughs> yeah, so in the original game, you had to collect, like, you had to collect a dress, and there was, like, three different kinds, and you had to get lipstick. Uh... And then maybe there was like a hair ribbon or something you had to get. There's like three different levels of that. And if you got the best thing in all of them, <laughs> then <laughs> you got to sneak into Corneo's mansion with them. And then they thought, this will be much more logical. <laughs> yeah, this makes way more sense. <laughs> I'd be like, how did you guys change my clothing during all that? It was, it was magic, you know, they just used a materia. He's still wearing combat boots under that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's got high heels. It looks like he has heels on. Yeah, yeah he does. I just want to save my friend. I don't. I don't know what any of this is, <laughs> man. <laughs> that show today blew my mind. <laughs> hey, look at me! I can dance too. How much did you drink tonight? <laughs> I bet she's so fun at parties. <laughs> People keep running into him. Oh. What? Please don't. Um. What is happening? He's like, he just walked over there. Oh, you had to talk to him multiple times. <laughs> Snappy dresser. <laughs> so silly. All right. Well, yeah. So we got the we got the dress for Cloud. You know, <laughs> mission accomplished. I guess. Yeah, we did it. We succeeded. Uh, I think we'll call it there. That'll be a good place to end on. Yeah. And then the next uh, next episode, we'll go up against Don Corneo. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Oh, we're gonna find some stuff. We probably need to put on some healing. 
Beep, 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 beep,